Arsenal football fan is now here. Yeah. Yeah. All the biggest fan channels in one place. Rex Nightstown. 100% Chelsea. Arsenal fan TV. All about the fans. Why is he on the fucking pitch? What the what? Exclusive content only here. Hello boys and girls and welcome to the UFF Daily Football Show. The number one source, everything going on in the football world daily. UFF, do what you have to do. Hello and welcome to Fan Park Live's Head to Head. Uh, we're going to be debating a very interesting topic. People seem to think that it's not that close. I seem to think that it is really close. We're going to be talking about David Villa. And I did I get that right? David Villa. David Villa. To give it a bit more oomph. Oomph. David Villa. There we go. There we go. Uh, versus Thomas Muller. <laughs> I don't know if that... like, I'm a German in this. Alright, cool. Um, but yeah, as I say, I, some people seem to think that this is a very easy debate, no brainer. Um, I'm not going to tell you which side they think it is uh, a no brainer for. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, but yes, we are going to be doing the show a little bit differently tonight, um, and that's because I'm going to be judging both Neeks and Chris on six separate criteria and scoring them on these criteria and i'll tell you what they are just so you can prepare we're going to talk about skills the skill set of both of these players the goals that they've scored set pieces or set piece ability uh how much of a team player they are their big moments and their legend yeah you got that yeah cool Guys, we also want your uh, contributions, so make sure you call us, 0203-606-0315. Make sure you comment on the UFF YouTube page as well, and all the various different platforms that you'll be watching this on. We definitely do have some some fan videos uh, from influencers this time around, so we're going to be watching those as well. But I'm going to let whoever... Do we have a coin to flip? No, we don't, so I'm just going to have to pick. Who wants to go first? I wanna go a coin. He's got a coin. Oh, you got you got a coin. I got the bag, bro. Payday. All right. Got a pound coin. Nice. Okay. Well, can we check if both heads? Up? Uh, no, it's how fishy goes down. Nah, don't worry, don't worry. It's legit. Boy. It's legit. All right. <laughs> so what? Heads, you go first. Tells, you go first. Let's go. <sighs> tells. All right, let's go. Okay. All right. So give me the first category. Like, what we, what we've we got to talk about skills. I, I don't need to say much. If if you think Muller is skillful point blank, then that's an issue. And don't get me wrong, like, obviously I'm arguing against Muller, but this is more about David Villa, and I, I think Muller's a great player. Um, skillful is not what he's at. I don't think you've ever seen him perform any... When I tell you, like, any skill, I'm talking, like, two-star two, scars, two star skills. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, that's not... That's just not his game. What, what's a two-star skill? Like, maybe just, like, maybe a young pirouette, maybe. But even now, I'm thinking, like, that's maybe three stars. Wow. Do you know what I'm saying? Wow. Okay. Maybe, like, a little cut. Like, maybe a little, you know, them ones, like, yeah, yeah, just yeah, a little... Yeah. A little body faint. Muller, like, that's not Muller. But, like, with V, I, I don't think V was, like, crazy skillful either. But he could go past the play. He could take a player on. Okay. He had enough dribbling ability where, whether he be playing up front or where he play on the left for Barcelona and for Spain at times, he could do something one-on-one -on -one, uh, with players that he was up against and... Um, I just don't... It isn't necessarily a knock against Muller. I just don't think that's in Muller's game. Okay. As opposed to if I had a little bit more about him. All right. Talk to me about Thomas Muller and well, his skill set. Well, I'm going I'm to disagree. Okay. Um, in part. Now, yeah, there's, there's one thing about, you know, having flair. Because I'm talking about... When you say skills, it does of you know, pirouette or a rabona or something like that. That's, for me, that's a flair. But a skill... For me, the skill set is about what ability technique what things he brings on the pitch okay now they've coined a position Jeez. for muller you know you're french you know the mcaleley position i don't need to explain yeah. that to yeah, you and the viewers know what the Ma they named the position after mcaleley mm -hmm. they've named a position after thomas muller and what is that position roim deuter imagine you know that. what that means yeah space interpreter wow. that's a skill wow he finds where he needs to be in the box at, all, at, at any one time he doesn't need he doesn't need to be a player because he makes sure he's not near the player he doesn't need to um go and get into one-on-ones because he get he his one-on-one -on -one is him and the goal to find space in the box you, you speak to any or you, you hear any legendary striker talk about scoring goals and f finding space not moving sometimes is the biggest skill and muller does that probably 
probably better than anyone other than Ronaldo and Messi in the game today in terms of finding can, space. Can for I, me, that skill, and we're talking about two strikers, for me, that skill... Can, that I, can, I, can I respond to that? So if, we, if we're moving away from like skills and talking about skills, so the, what, the actual definition of skill mm. is the application of technique when it's opposed. Mm. That's like in football terms, mm -hmm. that's the actual word for it, right? So if we're talking about technique then, mm. so let's move away from okay. dribbling and flair. Essentially, with the ball, there's three things. Because for me, you have to be... Like, to be skillful at something requires you to have the ball. Mm. In terms of positioning, which mm. for me is probably an underrated part of the game. Yeah. That I'm not going to say that's a lesser thing, but what I will say is, is that it's harder to be proficient with the football. That's mm. like... Yeah. The best yeah. players All ever. Right. At, 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 this, at this point, I want to bring up, I wanna bring up some, um, some, some stats. It's because... Yeah, yeah. Let's bring up the one that has dribble success rate, dribbles completed, all of that stuff as well. Um, one that generally is different to that via. He, for Germany he plays a lot out on the right so he's obviously going to be attempting mm. those dribbles more but what it does show is that when he has to attempt it he's got that ability alright uh, so uh, I'm going to give this this round to to, to Nix just for being more skillful for, for, okay, for, it's listen fine, it's fine it's fine it's, fine, it's, okay. it's okay yeah 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 yeah. I'm going to give this point this round to, to Nix okay. uh, because I think it's an underrated skill that he has. I think Thomas Muller is actually a decent dribbler. I don't mind you giving him that round, but what I will say is this, right? If you give both of them the ball, mm -hmm. David Villa is infinitely more capable of doing things with that ball, whether it be... Where on the pitch? Where on the pitch? Because maybe inside the 18-yard box, possibly. No, no, but no. if we're talking but about... We, but we've seen but we've seen him play out on the left. But we'll, we'll look at him play... All right, all right. Guys, guys, guys. No. Guys, yeah. guys. You're cutting me, man. You're cutting me. Let's, let's keep it peaceful. We're, <laughs> we're, we're going to move on. I don't mind. Goals. Guys. We're going to talk about goals now. So you had the first round, yeah. first goal last round. Take it away, Thomas um, Muller's goals, because I feel like there's there's not much to say. No, what about, for you on this one? The reality is, Muller's goal scoring record, and he is not an out and out striker. Like he can play uh -huh. strike, and he's done it before, um, more so for uh, Bayern Munich than he does for Germany. Because obviously, uh, Marisa Closer mm. was the main striker. I think even Mario Gomez was there. Was, was that was that a Bayern Munich? But um, goals. He's got his, his goal to game ratio. Two, he, he, get, he get a goal every two point five games for Bayern Munich. Mm -hmm. A goal every two point five games for Germany. Thirty eight in ninety appearances mm -hmm. um, at international level. Five in his first World Cup. His, he made his debut in two thousand ten mm -hmm. for Germany at twenty one. Twenty one years old. Yeah, he's born nineteen eighty nine. Twenty one years old, and he scored five goals in the first World Cup. Golden mm -hmm. Boot winner, best young player in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Four years later, done I done it again. Five goals in the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, we've got a World Cup coming up now, but he's already closing in on the World Cup leading goal scorers. Closer at 16, uh, Ronaldo at 15, uh, Gerd Muller at 14, Pele at 12. If he carries on the trend of 5-5-5, five, 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 he's going to go past Ronaldo in this World Cup at 28 years old. As, as a goal scorer, I feel so confident in David Villa that I'm not even going to talk about Barcelona and Spain days past 2009. Wait, why are you not going to speak about Barcelona? Because, no, because it doesn't back no, up. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I don't need to speak about Barcelona. It's not even that. It's just the fact that I'm not going to compare someone who's, what, 28 at the moment. I'm going to compare him to David Villa at 28 up until he was 28. Mm. God. And he was still 28 before, at Valencia. He moved yeah, to yeah, yeah. Barcelona yeah. in 2010. Um, you have to also think about the league that he's playing in. And Bundesliga is a strong league, mm. but he's been playing in the Bayern Munich league that has been dominant outside of maybe two years, possibly three, mm. has been dominant since 2009, which is when he's, he broke through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bayern Munich have been the mainstay. Yeah. Um, and it's not easy to play for Bayern Munich. Of I'm not, not. going to say that. And under so many How, However, and it, it however well, what yeah. I will say is, <laughs> having, scoring the amount of goals that David Villa did for Valencia, mm. who are a weak team, mm. but there's a big gap in the sense of the competitiveness of La Liga yeah. from Valencia's position and the competitiveness of uh, Bayern Munich and the Bundesliga in his yeah. position. And also, if you want to make it strictly international, um, Germany have been a great team since 2010. Mm. Spain have been a great team since 2008. What I will say is this, 
let's take that 2010 World Cup where he, he made his name, mm. um, Thomas Muller, where David Villa also started to obviously break through on an international yeah. level. Go back to those games and see the space that's, that Germany were afforded in terms of creating chances and then go see the kind of defences that Spain had to play. No, uh, you're saying no, 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 Spain had to play, or, but it's the style of Spain's football. No, 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 but, no, but, no, regard, no, no, but hold on, no, but regardless, no, no. but regardless, like if you just look at the pitch, what, like to... It's hard to score goals when you have a lack of time and a lack of space. Is that not true? Is, do you not think it, that's it is? But if you look at the goals that he scored, I remember I think it was one of them was against Chile, where he was outside the ball. I don't know where and the he, keeper went, and this is mad thing. And, and, so and the okay, player okay, okay. <laughs> I'm saying yes. Wait, but even if you say about that, can you name me a goal that Muller scored even in that kind of nature? Because the thing about Muller is a lot of it is, and again, positioning. His positioning yeah, yeah. is one of the best it's in the happened. world. Mm-hmm. But they're just they're literally Tapping. seven, eight yard finishes yeah, yeah. and the lack of pressure. A lot, a lot of scrappy. So think oh about the quality, think about the quality of David Villa's goals, mm. the fact that he's also been playing from a wider position for Spain. Mm. And the fact that even if he was playing up front for Valencia, he was playing for Valencia. But what but what I would say is that for Spain, the way that Spain dominated from 2008 to 2012 when they won the Euros in 2012, obviously you're gonna you have to put David Villa in the the reason why they dominated, yes. Of course. But even when he wasn't there, they were still dominant. They beat Germany two thousand eight uh, final. Torres yeah. scored the winner. Okay. And as, as you mentioned in um two thousand ten, they were playing a lot of times without a, a normal striker. They were the, oh it was sorry two thousand twelve World Cup um, yeah. two thousand twelve Euros. They weren't playing. We were playing without a striker. Spain were dominating and scoring goals with or without that. But when you say scoring goals, is there a difference between dominating possession? And creating chances. 2012. You, you can like the only game where they just absolutely battered a team was Italy in the final, and even then, Italy were two man down. Right. Two, 2008 Euros. They they scored. David Villa scored a lot of goals in the group stages. I think he got injured obviously before yeah. he got to the final. They scored. It was only in 2010. And even in, even in 2000, nil, even 2008, nil. like that was before teams defended very differently from 2010 onwards. Right. That's when it was just guys. We're gonna call yeah. it. We're gonna call it time there on the second second one. Let's pull up the stats again. We're gonna talk about goals. Um. Muller has more international goals. Uh, World Cup and Euros, he's got 10. David Villa has nine. And as you said, he has the chance to to overtake him. However, Thomas Muller has uh, uh, less uh, effective minutes to goal ratio. He's 115, whereas David Villa is at 100. 100. Um, Muller has, has, what, 10 shots off target. David Villa has 13. That's a pretty bloody weird stat. And the shooting accuracy is 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 worse as well. I'm sorry, but they, we can't give it to anybody else but David Villa. And even and even then, even just the nature of the, his and, goals, and that's can't. that's what I'm like, putting it down. No, to. I, I would I would agree in terms of the nature of his goals. Like yes. his are like he his cre- he cre- corners he could, and then it's he could create he could create his own goals goal in a way that Muller can't. But a goal is a goal. It is, but what's the one that takes your breath away? The one that hits the top corner just out of the reach of the goalkeeper, rather than one where you're battling like three man just to toe poke it over the line. Come on, we have to give it to David Villa on goal scoring. I'm sorry. Let's talk about set pieces. Who's the best at set pieces? Have you, Shoot, have you we'll, ever we'll make seen this one quick. Yeah, I'm, 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 we'll make, we'll make this one quick. Kick. I'm even seeing we're taking free kicks. So. Exactly. Listen, yeah. because he don't, doesn't take. Exactly. I'm not going to. I'm not going to debate okay. that. I'm not debating right, that. David Villa's got the tech. All I was saying, I remember I was watching. I think it was 2008 or nine. I went to the Emirates uh, Cup mm. at the Emirates, obviously, uh, and I saw David Villa playing for Valencia at the time, and he took a free kick. I have never seen a man take a more crisp free kick with my two eyes than that. It was beautiful. It went bottom corner and he came over, he celebrated, and I just thought, what a man. If I could I tell you, I tell you, I know who I want in the box for the set pieces though. Thomas what who Miller. what Thomas, uh, Thomas Miller, would they? What to just back post. You're shameless. Back post. Wow. That is a shameless remark. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> back post. All right, so, so, so two one. one. Two one. Two one. Two one. We are what? We're three topics in, we've got three left. And right now, David Villa is winning. He on set pieces and goals. Muller is winning on skills, which can't, in hindsight, yeah. is looking a bit for Yeah, just, just a little bit. You say Muller is a more skillful player but than David Villa. But it's about how you define is, is Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, a, you're talking, it's a crime against humanity. That's terrible. What? It's about how you define skills. You're right. It is. But moving on. Moving on. <laughs> You're, you're talking about Rabona's and, yes. and, 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 and step over. Hey, skills, listen, I'm talking about what, even what you do on that listen, even me, I, mean, I, I can be man enough to say I can even uh, misinterpret that topic. But if we're talking about just 
skill. But we saw the dribble stats. No, all against him. Forget dribble. Guys, 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 hold on. We need to go to some videos because time is escaping us. We're going to go to a couple of videos. It's a hot dog. Uh, Make sure you guys, again, call in 0203 I'm even annoyed I gave you that first round. And that, well. That's true. Just read free no white. Watch the pot. See what I had should have been passed on. Hold on. God damn. Absolutely. Very difficult, very hard to choose between the two. But based on World Cup um, achievements or individual, you know, accolades, I'm going to go with Thomas Muller just. Um, reason being, you know, he's won the Golden Boot at the World Cup. Don't believe Davavi has done that. Yes, he has scored and been prolific for Spain as well as obviously Barcelona in his, in his prime. But I just think um, Thomas Muller with his first World Cup in 2010, you know, he was absolutely sensational then. Um, he was brilliant in 2014 when Germany won it. Um, he's won, like I said, the golden boot. I think he's won the, the silver boot after that as well. And he's just got a knack for me, Muller, of like just being in the right place at the right time. And some people may look at that as luck, but you know you can't consistently be in the right place at the right time. That's that's skill and that's know-how and that's positioning and that's knowing where to be um, and when to be there. So for me, Thomas Muller shades it for me. It's very close. I think. Maybe at club level, I would have gone with Villa. But if we're looking at international level, obviously they've both achieved the absolute top honours that you can achieve as an international footballer. But I think that Muller just shades it for me just on um, just on that consistency. And like I said, he's he's got um, a, you know like a, a a world like a golden boot behind him, and I think that's massive at things like World Cups as well. Um, so to go and do that, I think is absolutely fantastic. So it's close, but I'm going to go with Thomas Muller. Two completely different players, two completely different styles of play. Um, obviously, with Muller, you got the you know the German strength, the power, the precision, and with Villa, you got the Spanish technical flair. Uh, both world champions, both superstar players. Uh, in this instance, they're just so different. But if you take them one on one, I would say Davi Villa is the better technical player, just because Muller seems to. Um, feed off of other players through the through the German national team or through Bayern Munich. He's always um, seemingly in the right place, that kind of fox-in-the-box player, but he's also not the guy that, like Davi Villa, can dribble through an entire team. And um, he's also not the, the free-kick tactician that, that Villa is. Um, so my vote would be David Villa. Yeah, look, there's no competition. I think David Villa dominates in all aspects. 108 goals for Valencia. He is just out of this world. I think Thomas Muller's great, don't get me wrong. Bayern Munich star, he is amazing, he's been there for quite a while, but still, for me, it's David Villa. For me, there's only one winner, Thomas Muller has scored 10 goals in only two World Cups. Uh, he's not far behind the top goal scorer in the history of the World Cup, so as much as I love David Villa and I thought he's a great player, I have to go with Thomas Muller. His record speaks for itself. Villa was the better player, he was more gifted, more talented, definitely a much more prolific goal scorer. But there's something about Muller. He doesn't even look like a footballer. That's not crazy with Muller. He looks like a tennis player or something. But the boy's got techers. Um, when it comes to playing for your country, they both did spectacularly well. Muller's been involved in the national team longer than Villa probably was. Don't quote me on that, but it just feels like it. And I'd probably say with Muller having as many goals as he does in international tournaments, you kind of have to slightly give him that edge. It's a difficult one, though, because Villa is definitely the better player. But if we're talking international football, you just, maybe just have to give it to Muller. Oh, Thomas Muller, come on, man. Yeah, oh, what's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. He's got a better movement uh, in, in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's more... That Villa was clinical, though. It only gets that he's, he's scoring. Yeah, that in that yeah, Barcelona but... team... Nah, I'd, I'd definitely take Muller, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better yeah. movement. And, you know, he's a World Cup winner. Yeah. Pedigree, yeah, definitely Thomas Muller, 100%. Thomas yeah. Muller was fantastic, but I think overall I'm going to have to say that Villa just tops it for me, purely because I think he was more entertaining to watch. Um, yeah, he had that bit of pace, he had that pace in his game where he could beat a man and he created something out of nothing. He wasn't just one dimensional, he had a lot to his game. And yeah, David Villa gets my vote. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much to everybody that contributed there. We had a very broad range of views and I'm surprised because a lot of people, everyone I spoke to about the topic before said that uh, David V was the, the best. Um, so I'm surprised to hear that a lot of it's people... It's not clear cut, it's not. It, apparently it's not. And it's, it's shown today so far, isn't it? But, but, but all of that is apparently about to change because someone said they got something to, to flip the script. 
Apparently, so the next topic is team player. Okay. Take it away. So people think because Muller maybe runs hard, you know, tries hard, mm. shouts a lot, yeah, that he's a bigger team player. He has that image because he can't do more than that. He can't be the individual. It's almost like saying, listen, you can't be a virtuous person if you're not capable of harm. If you're not capable of doing something, Ooh. if you're not capable of being bad, Ooh. you can't be really be good. God damn. This is the difference between David Villa and Thomas Muller when it comes to being a team player. When he moved to Barcelona, he went from being the absolute main man and being a world-class main man to going to the left and playing for the team. And even, because you could say, okay, well, it's Messi. He has no choice. It's he did true. it for Spain. He did it for Spain too. So what is the bigger element of sacrifice? Someone who is capable of maybe giving you 70% and gives you that full 70% or someone who's capable of giving you 90% and then reduces his usage of the ball for the team. Thank you. If you're saying that David Villa is more generous because he was willing to go out to the left when he could have been up front as a world-class striker, fair enough. But for me, team player is about how you supplement your teammates on the pitch. Mm. Do you know how much um, assists David Villa got in his first season for Rosa Ragosa? How many? Zero. Do you know how much he got in his first uh, assists he got in his first season for Valencia? How many? Zero. Whoa. Do you know how much he got in his first season for Barcelona? How many? Five. Thomas Muller gone. Oof. Contributes as a whole. Yeah. One point five a, a, a contribution every one point five games at international and. At club level, he's got over a hundred assists for Bayern Munich alone. I think he's in about the twenties. A hundred? Oh, over a hundred, over a hundred. I think about one hundred and twenty, and he's got about twenty or so for for Germany in the two thousand and I think it was the ten World Cup. It could have been the fourteen. Uh, I can't remember, but he was one of them. the highest assister with who people call the assist king. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, he yeah. got the most or the joint most. So r- r- one r- second, okay, one second. Cool. This season, he was also the leading assister in the Bundesliga. Thomas Muller not only scores goals, but he plays in different positions. He's played under so many different managers at Bayern Munich, from Lou Van Gaal to Pep Guardiola to uh, Jupp Heinkers and whoever's going to come next, a Frankfurt manager, I can't remember his name. He's played, played under all of them. He's played on the right wing. He's played on, behind the striker. He's played up front. So you're talking about sacrificing and playing where your manager wants, depending on what the situation. Thomas Muller has done it. And he has the assist, giving the final pass to your um, teammate to score the goal you're, much more you, than David Your retort it. quickly. One short retort before we okay. look at some stats. So, so what, given assist, playing for Bayern Munich, the dominant team in the league for nine years straight and for the top international side like you don't think that's going to boost your numbers do you feel like given assist is the only indicator of being no a but team I also player? said Hold he, on, he played in three player. different positions because he is that he's because not he, quickly quickly because yeah. guys we need to, we need yeah, to yeah, yeah. ring off the numbers right so Thomas Muller has six assists to David Villa's one um, he's created more chances Thomas Muller of course uh, he's made more passes of course he has a higher pass accuracy. You're telling me things I already know. Um, he, he's, I think that's he's won more crosses and more corners. Uh, he has a better corner and cross accuracy too. T- to me, this suggests a great, a great team player. Of course, we all know that he tracks back. We all know that he tries hard. I- I'm gonna give this one to Thomas. Look Moore. at that goal he scored against England in the four-one battering um, in 2010 World Cup, where he went from one end of the pitch. To the other, the back poster. That is Thomas Muller in a nutshell. And I, and I, th- I think that epitomises him. So, w- callers, please. 0203606-0315. We want to hear what you have to say. It's neck and neck. It's 2-2 right now. We've got two topics left to go. Big moments and the legend. This is going to go down to the wire. Is David Villa the best player? Or is Thomas Muller the best player? Big moments. Take it. Whoever wants to go first, um, I'm, I'm actually intrigued. What, I love yeah, this. What Chile? What's it? Chile 2010 World Cup mm. versus goal top bins Manchester United. Yeah. 2011 Wembley. Mm. Countless moments for Valencia as the main man, fourth best team in the league. Mm-hmm. Like he carried the team. He he, he carried the We're team. Uh, you say you're, right. you're big, saying you're, big, those are big moments. Uh, you're if, saying, if you're also, fourth if, best team in the league, but under Benitez they won it. Back to back, no, but yeah, back, was it back to back or two, two times in three years? Was was he part of that team? 
What, what year was that again? I'm trying to think. 2000 and... Was it, when, when he won it, because... He was, was was he was at Zyra Rosa. Yeah, Rosa. But I was saying, so they went down a level after the video was there. Or maybe Benitez left. I'm just saying. Like, he, like, he, like, he, like, like I'm dude, just saying. Dude, at this point, I respect, like, I'm respecting you as someone who I can debate with. And what I'm saying to you is, is that he's carried a team. Hmm. To where? To Champions League level. That team was overachieving. You're talking about Valencia that's been in financial crisis for o- almost 10 years. All right, big moments, big moments. Big, big moments. moments. You cannot name me a singular big Thomas Muller moment. He's drawn you out. Do it. I'm not gonna lie. The biggest one that comes to my mind is the Champions League final 2012. After Bayern Munich were pressing, pressing, pressing all game and then scored um, in the 80 odd minute. Obviously, Chelsea went on to win again, but that was a massive moment. All right, let's 2011, bring, let's talk, Manchester United. Hold on. Let's, let's talk internationally. You said Chile. Chile, World Cup. And do you still say that there's not one big moment that he has for. He's been for, like Muller, what, Muller what, scoring. A goal in a massive battering of, of Germany where Cruz oh, was a better Brazil, player. Brazil. Do, where, where Cruz was the best player on the pitch. You, the Brazil game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a big moment for, for Muller internationally? He's not, he's not, he's not, for me, the, the biggest moment uh, for uh, Muller, I would say, is the England 4 1. And even then, that was ever. Ozil. It's Ozil. I'm sorry, I have to give it to David Villa. Big moments. Uh, everyone remembers that goal against Chile and if you don't know it and you're too young and you weren't alive or maybe well, how old did that make you like eight yeah if you weren't alive yeah if you if you weren't about I suggest you go and watch it because it is uh, it's a fantastic goal Thomas Muller he's great he's good he scored against England and then he said hello to his grandma afterwards but realistically big moments we have to give it to David Villa it's 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 a big one here um, you've got to, you've got to win this Legend. We're talking about legend. Who has I, the bigger I'm gonna, legend? I'm going to go first. Go on. For me, that's not even a debate. David Villa isn't... Uh, he's not a Spain legend. He's not. In no, in no way that he's a Spain legend. I mean, that's, he is, no, no, no. He is Spain top goal scorer. He, no, but, but, but who's a bigger legend? Raul or him? <sighs> who's a bi- Actually, who's a bigger legend? Him or Fernando Torres? Wow. Uh, now this is who's a better player. I didn't say who's a better player. I didn't say who's a better player. Who has the bigger who has the bigger legend? Be be realistic. Out of David Who's for the winning goal to win to win the cup? Yo, listen, listen, listen. I don't know which camera I don't know which camera I'm speaking to right now. I'm gonna look at this camera. I need anyone with any kind of Spanish ancestry, anyone with any links to Spain, <laughs> Spanish passport, whatever, to call in Pick right now. Pick up the now, phone, baby. Call in right now and correct this man zero two zero three saying six zero six that Fernando zero three Torres is a bigger legend in Spain I, I asked a than question. David Villa. I asked a question. The, question no, the, the point I'm making is that the fact that David Villa has to get involved in that debate mm. and then you got players, Iniesta, Xavi, those players, in when they won the 2010, 2012, and obviously 2008, those players were the the icons of those teams. Iniesta scoring the World Cup winning goal. Mm. That was that wasn't okay. that was the but now, but but Thomas now Muller, tell me why Thomas, Thomas Muller, Muller is a bigger legend. Which is we're gonna go back to what I stated very early in the mm-hmm. piece. Okay. Ten goals yep. in two tournaments. Okay. He's already got a best player the uh, young player the award. He's got a silver ball mm-hmm. um for the second best player in the tournament. Mm-hmm. He's also ranked Fifth and sixth in the Ballon d'Or world's greatest players, um, among other places, 15th, 12th, 17th, whatever. But he's ranked fifth and sixth. This year, he could break the, the record. But as far as so far in the World Cup history, there's only two German players above him. Miroslav Klose mm-hmm. and Gerd Müller. For Germany, and especially in terms of the current team, there is no bigger legend in German football right now than Thomas Muller. Okay, so that's that's German football, that's fine. Let's talk about football across, like all over, all, all over the world, internationally purely. You're talking about a guy that not only was influential in winning one international tournament before that World Cup in mm-hmm. 2010, he was also inf- like the top scorer for them in 2008. It was also the, the main forward that um, took him to, or helped take him to the World Cup title two years later. You're talking about a guy who's also the top scorer. You're talking about a guy that dethroned Raul. Raul still... I'm not who is the le- but who's the legend? Oh, no, Raul hold on, hold on, hold on. You're naming a lot of, you named a lot of German players to juxtapose Muller against. I'm going to do the same thing for David Villa. Okay? Mm-hmm. You forget that Raul didn't stop playing football when he he left that Spain, um, the Spain setup. Mm. David Villa and in part Fernando Torres forced him out, and 
They did. They first came out. <laughs> uh, they, no, it was, Fernando Torres was not the starting striker for Spain going All into right. 2008. Come on, come on, come so, on. Come on. When you're talking about legends, you're talking about a guy that not only was a legend for his international side, but David Villa ultimately will be respected more as an individual player across all nations and across all tournaments than Thomas Muller. Thomas Muller is a great part, he's a great cog of a great team. No, no, David Villa, no, no. David Villa is seen as a talisman. How can a man who scored David Villa is five a goals in two, he's, he, do you know how many people have done that in two tournaments? I mean, three. Closer, I can't remember the other ones, closer and another one. And it ain't David Villa. Do you think I take that for a fact. Just because you scored the most goals, you're, you're that doesn't you're saying, make you the guy. No, but you're, you're saying he's a cog. Guy. But you're saying he's, he's a, a cog. He's not a cog. He's a cog. So you're telling me another member in that team, Thomas Muller is not leading Germany to titles. He's not leading Germany to titles. How can you say that? How can you say he's not leading wide wide because Gertz has scored the Ronaldo, goal? Ronaldo, Ronaldo, R9 is a type of forward that not only scores the goals there, but he led but his team. But how can you tell me five, uh, scoring five goals because, at an international cause, tournament cause I think, consecutively? Because I, th I think we're able to tell between great goal scorers mm. that can be goal scorers independent of the team setup. Mm -hmm. David Villa has proven he can do that. But Thomas Muller, Muller, Thomas Muller, I told you he's played under how many managers at Bayern Munich? Yep. At Bayern Munich. No, but no, no, but it's different. At Bayern Munich. Van Gaal's style is not the same as Pep Guardiola. Well, hold on, it's hold, not hold, the same on hold on, hold on. I would like to let you know that one of those seasons at Bayern Munich, we're not supposed to be talking about internet, um, club football, but one of those seasons, he only scored four goals. Yeah. Four and goals, even, even five goals. Okay, okay. So, wait, 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 so did David Villa scored five goals in the second season of Barcelona. Barcelona. He was injured from most of that no, season. No, but you're, you're, about? you're saying, he said he scored four, he scored five. If we're gonna go through all the career, do goals, do goals per game. That's how you do it accurately because we can do volume, if, we can do totals. That's if, fine. If you check the second compare, season at Barcelona, it was not. How many appearances? It, I, can't, I, can't, I, don't, I can't remember the exact number. That's what you need to remember. remember it wasn't a good season. It, it wasn't a good season. It was not a good I'm season. Not saying it's a, I'm not saying it's a good season. If you spend most of it Thomas injured, Muller, how is he so supposed to score? He scored four in one season, but he also scored 32, I think it was in two seasons later. So. And, and that's, and that's that from the right way. That's when Lewandowski was banging in goals as well. So it's like, he can do okay. what he needs to do wherever okay. he's placed right, on the pitch. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, we haven't really got anything else that, that backs this up. But we're going to we're gonna look at the, the titles that they've won, right? They've each won a World Cup. They've each won a World Cup golden, golden boot. David Villa has uh, won European Championship, which I suppose is not Muller's fault. But well, Muller wasn't. He didn't play for Germany when he was. Um, he didn't play for Germany. Yeah, like um, you're talking about, like he wasn't there in the 2012 squad. Um, yeah. but Muller has more league titles. But uh, he plays for Bayern Munich. But that's because he, play, he plays for. How, Bayern how, Munich. And how, how many has has Davi got? He's got three. And he played. Hold on, but one of those is with and what, Athletic Athletic Madrid, two, four, two, four, two Barcelona, and and I think that Athletic and, Madrid. And again, and, and again, let, let's use a bit of common sense. If a player, and again, Wait, I'm not, he, I don't even. I don't common even, sense. I just asked a question. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. I just okay, asked so, a question. Okay. okay so okay. So, wanted free, I, okay I, so if we ask a question, oh, please go we, on. Like we also have to apply context. Is that okay. fair? Is that a reasonable? Ask, because, no, 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 no. no. Now I'm asking you a question. Okay. So, if you're playing for the dominant side, where there's literally over the course of nine years. There has been no team. But there's a reason. Wait, there's a reason wait, why he played wait, for Valencia hold on, for so hold on, long. Hold on, wait, hold on, guys. where you can literally name from back to front, like a bare minimum of ten out of those starting eleven players are going to be top class players. Manuel Noah, Philip Lahm, Jerome Boateng, Hummels. Yeah, yeah, but like we're talking about titles. We're talking about club titles, right? He's bringing up yeah. Hanks and Van Hal and Pep and all them, man. So if I'm why was he at Valencia so long? God. If he was this this legend. Why was he at Valencia so long? Why did why did it wait till 2010 when he was what 20 28 20 29? Number years? number one. Why, why Real Madrid, Real Madrid and Barcelona were chasing him for years prior. He didn't want to go. So so you said he said he bought it. So he, he did. Oh, so he said stop 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 stop. Because Togo was at the top, the highest stop, level. Stop stop stop. For his whole career, by that like, Champions guys, League every single year, guys? performing at every oh my god on every stage. All right, all right. Pressure. All right, all right. Villa did not have that pressure at Valencia. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give. The the legend to David Villa. I don't believe it. I I'm don't believe it. I'm gonna give the legend. I told to you David that coin. Villa. That coin at the beginning was it, it was he, dodgy. He, he and this this is dodgy here. And that means legend. That means legend. That Chris and David Villa has won four legend. categories. For what? Um, because Stop. Torres did it better. Four two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four Torres two. did it better. I'm sorry, David Villa. Yo, I mean, I'm sorry that this guy. I I feel like I let you down by letting this guy even speak. No, nah, no, I that don't said believe. He it. And the, you know the worst part about this? In a couple of weeks, when when Thomas Muller breaks the World Cup, we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, you know, I'm gonna. Thomas Muller is great. Right. I'm gonna pull you up. I'm gonna you up. Guys, guys, thank you, thank you very much. We're gonna we're gonna look at some some Twitter 
comments. Yeah, let's go to the people. What, what's the people saying? Twitter poll, sorry. Twitter poll. What's the people saying? Yeah, oh. What are the people saying? Mm. Let's have a, a look. A quick, cheeky look. Uh, it's only, it's only 31 votes. No, it's got to be more than that. It is. Keep, keep, keep. The people are saying Thomas Muller. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not surprised. People are I'm saying Thomas Muller. Uh, and he's winning by 61 votes to 39 or 61 percent. That, that's that's 30, 53 percent. It's just gone down yeah, yeah. to to 47. Um, so I, I mean, mean Muller's winning. The I people mean, think that Muller has a is a better it's player. Good, it's, it's it's good for them. Um, I expect him to say that people look uh, at things. People look at things like titles. Yeah, he won more titles. Well, yeah, he's up by Munich, David where Villa, where like they're finishing David twenty. Villa. Like you're winning, you're playing in the league where your, where your league title is, is done in March. Why did he not leave? He did what the likes of Alan Shearer did. Oh, oh, no, let no, me no. stay with one oh, club. No, go to the highest level and prove yourself. Is he, he lying? Went, he went to the highest level, and his record did not match up to what he did at Valencia. Why? Because the pressure of playing for Barcelona, where every game you need to win, or he was injured. Well, well, for three years. Uh, wow. He was in and out of the team for, for, for two years. Guys. And then he went to Atletico Madrid. Guys. And he was starting for a team that did one of the biggest upsets in Spanish football. It's, it's, it's been great. It's been great. Thank Yo, you very I'm much shocked. for debating. Uh, we've left it there. Well, we won though. That's, 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 that's what we do, baby. Exactly. That's what we do, baby. If you agree, let us know. If you disagree, Villa, let us know. Get in the comments. Is David yeah, Villa better than comments, Muller? Man. Is Muller better than David Villa? This has been a very, very passionate debate and I love it. I love Skr -skr. it. Um, and this guy is happy he's won. He's happy he's won. I'm going to enjoy this weekend. I can't lie to you. Woo! Don't forget to <laughs> subscribe to all of the various platforms that this has been streamed on. Make sure you subscribe to UFF. Make sure you follow UFF on the uh, Twitter page. Make sure you download the UFF app as well. People are buzzing me in my ear telling me to make sure you get that app because that's very important. Uh, and there's lots of different football content on there. This guy's there. I'm there. Everybody's there. Um, guys, you're there. Peace. You're there. I'm definitely you're there. there. Make sure you subscribe and like the fifth official on YouTube and at TFO Show on Twitter. It's been a great show. I hope you've enjoyed it because I certainly have. David Vier is better than Thomas Muller. I'm getting out of here. Woo!